if Dwayne The Rock Johnson was a crab. So I was on Facebook the other day and I came across this picture. It's a family that looks like they're at some sort of picnic or cookout and they're surrounded by giant prehistoric dinosaur looking crabs. Turns out these are coconut crabs, AKA robber crabs, AKA basically dinosaurs. So I've been seeing pictures of these crabs on the internet for years and I always thought, okay, like this is Photoshop. There's some sort of perspective thing going on. No, no, no. These crabs are actually this big. Turns out coconut crabs are the largest invertebrates on land. They measure up to 40 inches from leg to tip and they can weigh up to 10 pounds, 10 pounds. They can weigh 10 pounds. Let's move on. As if it's not bad enough that these crabs are 40 inches and 10 pounds, they're actually swole, like swole in real life as in they can lift up to 66 pounds, 66 pounds. The average eight year old weighs 57 pounds. When they're fully grown adults, these crabs go from a light brown to a deep purple. So you've got 40 inch, 10 pound, purple crabs that can lift eight-year-olds. My favorite thing about these crabs is that they can live to be 60 years old. I don't know what it is about that, but there's just, I've never eaten anything that's 60 years old. I feel like the fact that these crabs can live to be 60 years old means that we just shouldn't eat them. I feel like we shouldn't eat animals that can live to be 60 years old. It just, it just, I feel like it already expired, you know what I mean? It just feels like if you turn the crab over, it would say best buy and that best buy date already passed if you're eating a 60 year old crab. At 60 years old, this crab has already been around, you know, it's seen things, it's been running these streets for a minute. And when I say running these streets, I really mean running, like they run. I'm good, I'm good. They can have it wherever they're at, whatever they want, they can have it because I can't be involved. How do you even grab this? Like, what do you, how do you defend yourself against a swarm of 60 year old crabs that can collectively probably pick you up and carry you away? I don't have any advice for you. I don't know exactly how fast these things can run, but based on this video, I'm good. And it's running backwards. This is an alien. So what do these crabs eat? Great question. They eat fallen fruit, nuts, seeds, and coconuts. That's why they're called coconut crabs. They eat coconuts. When was the last time you ate a coconut? I'll tell you about the last time I ate a coconut. I had to hit it with a hammer. So let's pull over for a second and talk about exactly how strong these crabs pinchers are. This crab has a pinch force of about 3,300 newtons. Hyenas, tigers, and lions generate about 4,450 newtons when they bite down. In case you're wondering how you measure the strength of a crab's pinch, this is how you measure the strength of a crab's pinch. This is part of someone's job. They actually also eat meat. They're carnivores. What type of meat do crabs eat, you might ask? Great question. Uh, everything. Turns out they are ruthless predators. They eat rats, birds, and other members of their own species. How do they do this? Well, most of the time they burrow underground, like under a log or in a hole in the ground or behind some foliage. It, the thought alone of being like a small mammal, just minding your business, walking through the woods or wherever these things live, and you're walking past what you just think is a giant log and out from under it, this claw. In 2016, one of these crabs was documented attacking a bird. Let me just try to explain exactly what happened in this incident. So a researcher saw the crab slowly climbing up a tree. I don't know if I mentioned that they can climb trees. That's how they get the coconuts down. So the crab is climbing up this tree, inching towards a bird called a red-footed booby. And it inches towards the bird and when it gets to it, this poor bird just minding its bird business, the crab lunges at the bird, claw first, and snaps its wing. 
Naturally, this bird with a newly broken wing falls out of the nest and onto the ground. This crab just casually descends from the tree, just climbs down and goes up to this bird that's frantic and flopping around and breaks its other wing. By the time it breaks the bird's second wing, other crabs have arrived because they can smell blood. They can smell blood. And these crabs, about five of them, rip this bird to shreds. The crab can smell blood. I'll never eat at Red Lobster again, I promise. I just don't want any of the smoke. It's a 10 pound crab up to 40 inches long. Bite force a little less than a hyena, lion, or tiger can lift 66 pounds, live up to 60 years old, and it can smell blood. And by the way, it can run and climb trees. What are we still doing on the planet Earth? I just want to know. I just want to know what we're still doing here. If we didn't have guns, uh, National Geographic has this show called Searching for Amelia. And the whole show is about looking for Amelia Earhart. And one of the theories that they explore in the show is that Amelia Earhart's plane crashed on this one island. And the island has, you guessed it, coconut crabs on it. And they're saying that if she crashed on this island, whether she was hurt or she was dead when, when the impact happened, she probably got devoured by crabs. One of the experiments they did on the show to demonstrate how this could have happened is that they put a pig carcass just out in the open and showed a time lapse of crabs tearing this thing apart. They tore this thing apart so thoroughly that they actually carried the bones away. It's not just coconut crabs, it's all crabs. Think about this. Can you imagine surviving a plane crash and you're just like, oh my goodness, I, I can't believe I'm alive. Uh, but you know, you got like broken bones, there's blood everywhere and you're just like so thankful that you actually survived and you hear something and you look up and you're like, Are those, are those crabs? Are they carrying Cheddar Bay biscuits and dipping sauce? Why is one wearing a bib? Unlike Red Lobster, you come to realize that you're the food. That's what they think happened to Amelia Earhart. I just want the crabs to know that I never liked Red Lobster. I never went, I only went on Mother's Day because they made me go because they said it was gonna be rude. But I never wanted to go, I never wanted to eat those crabs. I said, y'all should stop eating crab. That's it for now, and if you come across one of these crabs, don't ask what's for dinner. Shout out to everybody watching this, there's a whole lot more where that came from. Tune in next time to see you outside. I think there's too much news.